Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Teacher Atika. You can call me Miss A, Teacher Atika, whatever that suits you. And today we are going to do a very quick revision on uh, poems and we're going to start with the poison tree. Uh, it contains uh, basically the lines in the poem um, and also we're going to go through some questions and I hope that it helps you. Let's get started. So this is a, a poem for a poison tree. A poison tree it, it came out in the SPM question in 2018. Uh, so it is possible for them to, to ask the question again. Let's get straight to the poem. Uh, there are four stanza in poison tree. Uh, poison tree. Uh, let's start with stanza one. This is the process. This is a story. A story where you can see the development how of uh, how the story goes. Number one, how the anger started. Uh, basically, this is a story about uh, someone who is angry. Let's look at the poison tree. I was angry with my friend. I told my rough, my rough did end. I was angry with my foe. I told it not, my rough did grow. So the persona in stanza one, it shows how the anger started. Uh, let's look at the vocabulary. The vocabulary is angry, means marah, rough, a great anger. It is another level of angry. As you can see the picture here, angry groups. And foe means enemy, musuh. Friend means a buddy, kawan. Um, so the, uh, the pronouns in this line is the pronoun it, I, T. is in the fourth line and it means the anger, kemarahan itu. Let's take a look at the analysis behind the structure, BTS. So the sentence, I was angry with my friend means the person, the persona was angry with his friend. Kita tak tahu persona ni lelaki ke perempuan, so we assume it is a he, lelaki. Uh, I told my rough, my rough did end. He told his friend about his anger. So he is no longer angry. Dengan kawan, dia bagi tahu kenapa dia marah. So kemarahan tu hilang. I was angry with my foe. He marah dengan musuhnya. He was angry with his enemy. I told it not, my wrath did grow. He did not tell his enemy about his anger. He kept it inside his heart. So the anger grew. And look at the phrases. My wrath did end. So sekiranya dalam soalan bertanyakan mengenai frasa, this is the phrases that you should take and that you should know. My wrath did end maksudnya with friend, the anger ended. My kat sini bukan menunjukkan awak. My menunjukkan the persona. So when you answer the question, don't write the answer my my anger or my wrath. It is wrong. You should write the persona anger ended or the personas wrath ended. And the second phrase, I told it not. It merujuk kepada apa? Kemarahan, the anger. He did not tell about his wrath to enemy. Dia tak beritahu musuh dia pasal ni. Why? Because perhaps he 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 keep it in his heart sometimes when you hate someone so much you can't even face his face you know you can even face the person so that's why he did not talk to the to the enemy my wrath did grow with enemy the anger grew so everything is in past tense again my kat situ bukan menunjukkan awak dia menunjukkan kepada persona so these are the phrases that we can see in stanza one let's take a look at stanza two Oh, before we look at the stanza too, uh, here's the info. Persona means he or she. He is someone who held grudge out of vengeance, dendam. He kept and grew the anger for a very long time. This is for his enemy. And he did his plan secretly to fulfill his vengeance. Dia uh, ada buat satu perancangan untuk me me melunaskan kemarahan dan dendam kesumat yang dia ada terhadap musuhnya. And then for the keyword foe, the enemy, musuh. Uh, the foe was unkind to persona. Dia bukanlah orang yang baik kepada persona. He might, might do something wrong. The persona did not tell his anger and held grudge. Dia tidak bagi tahu apa yang buat dia marah dan dia menyimpan dendam. He also trespassed uh, persona's garden. Dia juga telah mencerobohi uh, persona's punya uh, uh, apa tu kebun, kebun buah apple. He stole the apple. He ate the apple. He died. Uh, he, uh, dia apa? Dia uh, uh, curi masuk. Dia uh, curi apple tu. Dia makan apple tu. 
and dia mening mati. And the last keyword here that you need to know is a poison tree. A poison tree symbolizes anger that is kept for a long time. Dia menunjukkan satu kemarahan yang dia uh, dibina menjadi se se sebatang pokok kerana ianya telah lama disimpan. Kemarahan yang telah lama uh, ter, 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 terbuku di dalam hati. The tree brought the tree bore an, uh, a bright red apple. The tree bore a bright red apple. Dia kemar, pohon kemarahan itu akhirnya menghasilkan buah apple. The apple is poisonous. So it, it, it reminds you to two story. One is the fairy tale of uh, Snow White when she ate the apple. She she was asleep for hundred years. And number two is the story of Adam and Eve. Uh, when we talk, we talk about the forbidden fruit. Uh, itu reference uh, yang kita boleh guna lah. Let's continue with stanza two. In stanza two, uh, this is where we can see the uh, the persona grow his wrath. Dia me mengumpulkan kemarahan itu makin uh, terbina dan makin membesar. So this is the line. And I water it in fears, night and morning with my tears. And I sun it with smiles and with soft dizzy foot wiles. Okay, vocabulary yang ada dalam ni adalah watered. Oh, tengok gambar yang ditetera. Fierce, ketakutan. Tears, air mata. Sun, disirami dengan uh, uh, dengan cahaya matahari. Yeah, it is, uh, the, the, the tree is let in an open space where it is uh, exposed to sunlight. Deceitful, full of lies, tidak jujur. You can see the picture there. Wiles, clever tricks. Uh, maksudnya wise bermaksud clever trick Maksudnya helah yang sangat bijak untuk uh, uh, meman, uh, menipu seseorang And pronouns yang ada dalam line kedua Stanza tu adalah the word it In first line and in third line Kedua-duanya bermaksud anger, kemarahan hmm. uh, Dan juga option yang kedua kita boleh guna kat sini Awak boleh guna uh, anger Awak boleh juga letak sebagai the tree The tree, the poison tree You should mention the poison tree open ataupun the tree. If you put the answer a tree, salah sebab a tree bermaksud pokok yang secara umum. Kita tak tahu pokok mana satu. But if you say the tree, the maksudnya itu. Itu merujuk kepada pokok, the poison tree. And another option is you can say a poison tree. So if you can, re if you refer it dalam uh, stanza kedua sebagai uh, tree, uh, a poison tree ataupun the tree, itu kita terima. Next, let's take a look at the structure. So the sentences that we want to see here is I water it in fear. Uh, okay, ini adalah uh, cara yang uh, dia digunakan untuk uh, dia uh, dia membuahkan dia punya uh, kemarahan. Pertama, dia sirami dengan ketakutan. Keep thinking negatively about the enemy. And then night and morning with my tears, he filled the anger by crying. Sebab dia frust he was frustrated every single day. And I saw it with smiles. He kept his anger in secret. How? He keeps smiling to the enemy like a dear friend. Maksudnya kat depan macam lain, kat belakang macam lain. Okay, that's how sneaky he is. And then the, the last line, and with soft deceitful wiles, he lies and trick made the persona trust him as a good friend. Dia punya uh, helah penipuan membuatkan orang tersebut percaya dan menganggap bahawa dia ni adalah orang yang baik dan kawan yang baik. Padahal he he stabbed his friend at, the, at his back. Okay. Okay, frasa, a phrase that you need to know is night and morning. Night and morning means every day, daily, all the time. Deceitful wiles mean dishonest tricks. Penipuan yang tidak jujur, helah yang tidak jujur. And how the person uh, uh, grew his anger, there are three ways. Pertama, water it fierce. Kedua, with my tears. Number tiga, sun it with smiles. Tetapi, frasa ini awak kena tukarkan sedikit kata kunci dia, kata, um, kata ganti diri. So, water it, water it with fierce, awak just tulis, he water it with fear. And with my tears, awak tukarkan, he water it with tears. And sun with Sun it with smiles, he sun it with smiles. Ini sekiranya soalan meminta anda bertanya, uh, menjawab soalan bagaimana uh, dia uh, pokok itu membesar. Okay, then you need to change the phrase. 
kalau dia kata ambil satu sentence, you have to make tu uh, awak kena ambil ayat itu daripada awal hingga akhir tak boleh ubah langsung. Sama juga dengan frasa. Frasa bermaksud two or three words or more. It is not a complete sentence bukan ayat yang lengkap. You have to take frasa, jangan ubah apa-apa. Take and copy and paste put in your answer. Alright. So uh, the sample yang I bagi tahu tadi, uh, the one that I said how Prostona drew his anger, awak kena ubah sedikit image yang awak ambil um, idea itu daripada poem tetapi awak tukarkan menjadi jawapan. Because dia tanya how. Uh, bukan, bukan dia tanya frasa mana, dia tak tanya pun which phrases. Kalau dia tanya which phrases yang menunjukkan cara-cara uh, persona itu meng, um, membuahkan apa um, grow dia punya angle then you ambil frasa tu sebiji-sebiji jangan ubah. Alright so let's take a look at the third lines the third stanza um, third stanza and it grew both day and night till it bore an apple bright and my fur beheld it shine and he knew that it was mine. Okay, in stanza 3, cerita dia ber, uh, bersambung, the anger continued to grow. Kemarahan itu makin membuat, makin menebal, makin membesar and it uh, becomes, uh, it, it produce something. And as we can see here, the vocabulary yang patut kita tahu dalam ni adalah bore. Bore bermaksud produce fruit. Bore ini adalah kata kerja in its past stand. Okay, bright as you can see here, uh, bright uh, cerah, bright apple, beheld, as you can look at the picture, someone is looking at the apple, maksudnya saw or look, lihat, tengok. Shine, bersinar, shiny. I put the picture here for you to see. And pronouns that you should know in the line, in this stanza is the word, uh, the pronoun it. It disebutkan beberapa kali dalam stanza ni. It dalam baris pertama dan baris kedua menunjukkan the angle or the tree. Tak boleh cakap a tree. Kena cakap the tree. Sebab the tree itu spesifik kepada a poison tree. In stanza 3 and, eh, sorry, in, sta, uh, in line 4 and line uh, line 3 and line 4, perkataan it itu pula, it, merujuk kepada the apple, the poisonous apple. Okay, you cannot say an apple salah sebab an apple bermaksud uh, buah apple secara umum if you say the apple we know that it is from the poison tree i hope it is clear for you and next uh, pronoun he he bermaksud uh, ini he in the third line the foe or the enemy seorang sahaja kalau awak buat plural salah dosa Dosa besar, like you, because you change the meaning. You cannot so you cannot say foes at the S. You cannot put enemies at the S. Tak boleh, salah. So you remember, it's just a person, a single person, and it is lelaki, he. Mine, uh, the pronoun, the last one is, the apple belongs to the persona. Mine bermaksud orang tu punya, dan dalam uh, poem ini bermaksud, the apple belongs to the persona. Let's take a look at the structure. So, in the sentence, dalam stanza ketiga, rangkap ketiga, and it grew both day and night, the apple grew, it means the anger grew every day. Till it bore an apple bright, kemarahan itu membuah, sehinggalah dia menghasilkan, dia membuahkan sebiji buah apple yang berwarna merah. Okay, the anger out of the tree has grown into a red apple. That's why it is poisonous, sebab penuh dengan kebencian. And my foe beheld it shine. The enemy saw the apple. Dia nampak daripada jauh. Dia teringin. Ha? The shiny apple looked delicious. He wanted to eat it. And the last stanza he said he knew, uh, the last line in the stanza said he knew that it was mine. The per, uh, the persona, the persona, the, the enemy, he knew that the apple belonged to the persona. And Musa ni tahu the apple belonged to the persona. Still, he wanted it. Hmm. And phrases, uh, frasa yang awak patut ingat kat sini, and it grew. It grew means that the apple tree grew or the anger grew. Both day and night means it shows all the time or daily. Uh, frasa seterusnya, till it bore, the apple produced something or the anger grew, producing uh, and produced something. Atau tinggal berkata an, and dekat situ, and produced something. An apple bright, the apple from the poison tree. Nampak tak? The apple. And the last one, it was mine. The apple belongs to the persona. I hope that you understand it. Let's look at the last line, stanza four. A poison tree in stanza four. Uh, here goes the line. 
and into my garden stole when the night had veiled the pole in the morning glad i see my full stretch beneath the tree the vocabulary that we can see here uh, okay before i go to the vocabulary we look at the stanza for stanza for ni penghujung cerita his plan oh salah his plan it at the ed ya yeah? Okay, I have changed it. His plan was a success. Rancangan dia berjaya. So, dalam sini vocabulary dia adalah veiled. Maksudnya covered ataupun dilitupi. As you can see here, the night is covered. Uh, the night had veiled the pole. Malam itu diliputi. Uh, telah men, men, uh, melitupi uh, tiang tersebut. Malam. Dia curi waktu malam. Okay, you can see the picture there. Eh? The pole bermaksud tiang. So, maybe dia panjat. Untuk dia panjat tiang tu. So, he want to get into the garden. Outstretch, as you see in the picture. Uh, sebelah tu, like, jatuh. Uh, dia baring terlentang. Eh? Kaki dengan tangan dia terbuka. Uh, luas. Uh, dia terlentang. Beneath bermaksud under. Maksudnya under the tree, as you can see in the picture. Pronouns that we use in the stanza for is my garden. Means the personal garden. I, I means the persona. Right, let's look at the structure. Behind the structure is the sentences and into my garden stole. Uh, the first stole the apple. Okay, and when the night veiled the pole, bermaksud, he went the garden at night. Dia masuk dalam garden tu pada waktu malam. It is dark. That's why they get the night to veil the pole. Maksudnya malam tu mungkin tak ada bintang. Kan mungkin tak ada bulan juga because it's very dark. Nobody could see him. In the morning, glad I see. Maksudnya adalah the person was happy to see his foe. Why? And comes the next line. My foe outstretched beneath the tree. His foe died. His, re uh, his revenge was a success. He was so happy. Such a bad thing. It's, it's, it's a very dark poem. So let's take a look at the phrases. Phrases yang digunakan kat sini, deny, veil, jepul. Okay, phrases ni maksudnya saya ambil daripada sebahagian ayat yang dia ada dalam uh, line tersebut. It was, it was very dark at the time. Nobody can see him. Glad I see. Maksudnya the persona was happy. Tak boleh cakap you were happy. Ya? The persona was happy. My foe outstretched bermaksud his foe was lying under the tree. He died. Okay, kenapa dia mati? Because he ate the apple, the poisonous apple. Beneath the tree bermaksud under the tree. So, dia mati betul-betul bawah pokok tu. Next, take a, let's take a look at the teams. So, he, there are three teams. Anger, revenge and the important, uh, the communication is important. Anger means dealing with anger is very important. It is harmful if, if it is not managed well. Number two, unsettled anger will only grow into vengeance, it often leads to an ugly tragedy. This is about ven uh, revenge. Uh, revenge dengan vengeance, sama. The next one, communication is important. It is important to communicate our feeling. It helps to resolve conflicts. Maksudnya, kalau kita tak puas hati dengan orang, we tell the person, let him know. Then we can solve the conflict and we will be at peace. Tenang. Moral value. Moral value, we should. We should practice good anger management. Number two, we should not hold grudge against others. It only poisons our heart. Tak perlu kita menyimpan dendam atas orang lain. Hanya, hanya menjadikan uh, hati kita ini uh, beracun, kotor. Number three, we should forgive and forget. Everyone makes mistakes. Okay, that's simple. And let's take a look at the SPM question 2017. So here's the question. You can pause this video and try answer the question because the next slide will be the answer for this question. So let's, uh, in this question, uh, ini yang I nak you tekankan. The persona use tricks. So oh, tengok dekat sini, arahkan dia. Tricks, kata kunci bulat kan. Which line in the poem refers to these tricks? Baik, line. Dia minta line jadi awak kena ambil satu baris sebiji-sebiji. Jangan ubah apa-apa. Okay. Um, so cari kata kunci dia tricks ha? I tengok nota tadi I dah tunjuk B why, the persona, why does the persona use the phrase Day and night in stanza 3 Terus tulis jawapan Tengok balik nota if you, if you can remember Just write it down Make it short, sweet and simple So bulatkan kata, uh, uh, kata kunci phrase And kata kunci day and night And also the first one Why Alright And remember, it is in stanza 3. C. In stanza 4, bulatkan circle, the keyword. 
Why, circle the keyword, why do you think the foe was outstretched beneath the tree? Foe, and then gariskan, outstretched beneath the tree. Give your answer. This is a key but question, a hot question. Last one, what advice would you give to the persona and why? So circle advice, circle persona, circle why, reason. Okay, if you want to try, you just pause this video and then try to answer the question. Next, we can see this is the, the answer. And we the answer for number one is, and we solve DC foot wells. The whole line tak tinggal salah. Jangan bagi salah, uh, ada kesalahan, ejaan sekalipun. Copy everything, the copy and paste, just at, as it is. And number two, the answer is uh, to show all the time. Maksudnya every day, daily kita terima. Anything that show the timeline, it is all the time. And uh, C, uh, stanza four, why this uh, foe was outstretched? Because he got tricked by the persona, kita terima. And got killed by the persona pun, kita terima. So as long as we got the keyword that something happened to the persona. Jangan cakap dia rehat, the persona was, uh, uh, the, the, the foe was uh, having a rest, salah. The, the, the foe was sleeping, salah. D, what advice will you give? Advice just say, uh, speak out your anger to the person. Or you can say, uh, 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 give advice to forgive and forget. Boleh, short, sweet and simple. Reason, any logical answer. And in here you say, it is bad to take revenge. So that's about the SPM question last year, uh, in, the part, uh, in the previous year. Let's take a look at the hot questions. Okay, for hot question, this is... Um, a set of question which I've got from uh, on uh, from the internet. It is prepared by a uh, teacher, Mr. Hafiz Sudin. So all credits go uh, all credit goes to him. Thank you for preparing. And let's take a look at the question. So uh, I'm just go, go I'm going to get go through the question. You can print it. You can study it. I will give a link uh, to the copy of the question. Uh, I will post it on my Telegram channel. Uh, so you just check it out and then you can print it out, try to attempt the question and, you know, sort of uh, remember uh, how it should be answered, okay? So there's a lot from Mr. Uh, uh, answer uh, prepared by Mr. Hafizuddin. And yeah, that's about it. That's about the uh, poison tree. I hope that it helps you. And I will end this uh, sharing with a quote. Just because your progress is slow doesn't mean it's not just as important by Dr. Anwar Fazal. So I hope that you will learn uh, something. Remember, it's not about the, the final result. It's about the process and the progress. So best of luck for this coming SPM. That's all from me. Thank you. Bye. Assalamualaikum.